Uh, can we have a big welcome for everybody coming here today? Welcome, everybody. <laughs> Fantastic. Can I say that this is actually probably more of a nightmare to organise than the wedding earlier this year? Um, so we'll see what actually happens today. I've never actually ran a online, sorry, a proper hybrid meeting in this way in any way before. So it's a, it's a really good way to try and practice it into really. Let's do a big Christmas party and see how things go. So um, what we're going to do is just very, very quickly just to run through what the agenda is going to be. It's completely irrelevant anymore because we're already, well, we're already miles behind on the time. But we will manage to keep, keep getting back a little bit faster as long as uh, people can actually unwrap their presents a little bit faster uh, in a short while. Um, and we basically, um, just to quickly mention about today, if the, everything works. Right, so today wouldn't be possible without the sponsors. So anybody who's sponsoring the events in here today or sponsoring an award, can you just quickly wave your hands? Fantastic, Michelle, this will include you as well, yeah? Yeah. Uh, so for all those who've actually sponsored something, thank you very much. We wouldn't be able to put on what we're doing today if it wasn't for that. Just, just be able to let people know. I mean, we're talking proper quality glassware here. We're not talking the cheap shit you normally get at the Chamber of Commerce. No, 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 not at all. That's the one, that's the one people need to buy. Um, so what we're going to be going today is to have a lot of fun. Um, Remember, today's awards, we'll be moving into the award ceremony part of it first of all. These awards are worth winning. If you consider all the awards that businesses would normally go up for, you all cheat or you pay for. So what happens is if you actually sponsor, be the headline, big headline sponsor of awards, you win all the prizes. This is probably the only place you can ever go and actually win the awards where you've been nominated by your fellow members and also those members have actually voted for you. So these really are worth winning. Uh, and I have to say that lightly because there's a lot of work. I've actually seen where the voting's gone. So it's, um, there may be divorces, all manner of things going on later. So we'll see where things go. So well, all I have to do is basically ask, is everybody ready? Yeah. Can people say a bit more enthusiastic about this? Is everybody ready? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, come on, Paul. Oh. I'd just like to thank uh, Neil Bowler for his background image. Just thank sit you. down. Just sit down. <laughs> right, anyway. Um, <laughs> Paul, remember there's people at home as well. So people at home, are you ready as well? Yeah. 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 Is, is, that, is that everybody at home cheering there? Or is, is somebody falling asleep? Uh, at home, are you ready for this? Yeah. Yeah. yeah! Okay, right. Yeah, we'll take that. <laughs> we'll take that as a no. So, okay, ladies and gentlemen, straight into the award ceremony. Um, see as he's just his second sat down, Mr. Lander, if you can rejoin me back on stage, please. Um, if somebody can write this down for comedy moments of 2022. It takes 20 minutes to get back. I don't care, Paul, it's absolutely fine. <laughs> So, ladies and gents, we're now voting for Comedy Moments of the Year for 2021. Uh, Mr. Lander, since you're here, would you like to announce the nominees? I would indeed. The nominees for Comedy Moments of the Year are John Puss for appearing in Brett's wife's dressing gown one morning. <laughs> Jim Fletcher but quite possibly the worst ever Arnold Schwarzenegger impression. However, no, I've got to say, I liked it. I thought it was awesome. Uh, Neil Bowler for the introduction of the Barch, the Bart Sheldon Appreciation Society. Do, do you want to try to say that again? <laughs> I was literally swallowing a bit of it. Anyway. Uh, 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 Mo, uh, Mo, for his comment during a BSO meet and greet. Uh, if you want to know what that comment was, ask us later. Oh, no, no, just tell them now. All right. The comment Mo made was we were talking about things you shouldn't. What was he? Okay, so, so the question was if you're having a bad day, you would normally kick the dog. But if you're the Prime Minister, you have access to bombs. So if you was the Prime Minister and had a bad day, what would you blow up? Uh, Mo's comment was, as a British Muslim, I better not answer that. <laughs> <laughs> At the time, bloody hilarious. Yep. Uh, again, John Coss a second time for taking it like a man 
for the abuse given following hooking up with Victoria. Yeah, and he's still hooking up with her. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> or should it be Victoria hooking up with John? I don't know. Who wears the trousers? Victoria. Victoria wears yeah. Okay. Uh, Claire Marie Kelly for her over ordering of 13 kilograms of glitter <laughs> on her husband's credit card. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Uh, and we'll skip two of them. Um, <laughs> no, okay, there's me twice. Uh, for the first one, for my appearance as a Muppet and not realising it, it took me about five minutes to realise I was on Brett's quiz. Thanks, Brett. And uh, for my enforced silence during the lockdown BSO breakfast. And the winner of the comedy moment of the year is... <laughs> Mo! It is Mo! Mo has won! Yay! Fantastic. Unfortunately, Mo couldn't be here today. Um, so, so I will add this to my connection. I'll accept this on his behalf. Oh, hang on. Here we go. Hang on. We're going to do it properly. Fantastic. That's it. Adding to the Fantastic. multi award winning. That's it. No, no, it's okay. We'll put it back over here for Mo. Luckily, I've ordered all, ordered all the trophies with presentation boxes so we can get them back to him. So, thank you very much, Paul. Thank, thank you, you very much. much. Okay, ladies and gents, we're now moving swiftly on to um, a very hotly contested award. Uh, the BSO Employee of the Year. Uh, also, I have a vested interest in this, uh, seeing as I am the only employee of the BSO. Uh, however... Well, maybe plenty of someone else won. That's what I'm always asking. He's never won his own award. Um, I'd, be very, I'd be very disappointed if people haven't actually voted for me in all the fans. But the nominees were, and these were the nominees as per you lot, uh, my lovely wife, who has put on precisely nothing for you. <laughs> Some, somebody did actually vote for me, or rather actually nominate me. They will be getting a discount on their membership. Um, <laughs> Victoria Sheldon, who actually did work, did proper work for us. <laughs> work. Um, at one point, she was the highest paid employee of the BSO, because that one which in half an hour. So, um... <laughs> Yeah, she worked earned 100, well, the equivalent of £107 an hour for that, and I think I did a 60 hour week for minus 700 <laughs> um, Victoria, sorry, um, Charlotte Saunders, this is the lovely lady who normally sends your invoices. And, um, and Stephen, Stephen Hadley, uh, my father in law. Um, he, he got nominated because he did the disco at the BSO barbecue. Um, <laughs> You've probably got more votes than me. <laughs> <laughs> right, so ladies and gents, so the, this will be sponsored by us. I think it's the only way we can actually do it. And the winner is. Come on, can I have a bit of a drum roll, please? <laughs> it is Emma Sheldon. <laughs> Okay, I, I did, I was, I, I was second. So Emma, <laughs> you'd like to receive your award? We have to look that way at the camera. It's only because you said yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. Oh, 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 sorry. Here you go. I'm delicate. Fantastic. I just got the Fantastic, ladies and gents. I, I can put it over there, that's absolutely fine. However, ladies and gents, there is a bigger question we should be asking. And the question is, is who actually ever voted for? Oh, oh. oh. Remember, we are newly married. We she are. Did for Steve. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> she did, in fact, vote for her dad. Okay then, ladies and gents, so we're going to move very, very swiftly on to one of the most hotly contested awards going. 
Um, the award is here, it is ready, it is ready to go. Um, I haven't polished it, but I will do before it goes. And this is the award in honour of our industry. Uh, this is the award that can only be bought award. 20 quid! And <laughs> and 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 so, in terms of this, you can only buy this tonight. Uh, the money will be going to charity, it will be going to four community trusts. Unfortunately, Joe Hayden is, is really, really ill. She's got a gastric, gastric flu at the moment, so she was going to be here uh, to basically collect your money. Um, but off this, so we're going to basically sell this wonderful award. We're going to sell it for as much as we possibly can. Um, so we have a bid over there of no, 20 months. Who, who, who's the retaining title owner? John. John Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 20 quid. Okay, so we have a bid. So, ladies and gents, this is a bid. So we go. Okay, so we have. So we have twenty pound over there. So Lisa, pay fifty. How much? Fifty. Fifty pound. Okay, so we have a bid of fifty. Can we beat fifty? Seventy-five. Sixty. Seventy-five. Do we have more? Seventy-five. How much? Eighty. <laughs> Mr. Landers said eighty pounds. Well, <laughs> can somebody make sure he's got cash on him? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we have a bid of eighty pounds. Can we beat eighty pounds? Oh. Hundred pounds from the from the bear, fantastic. Do anyone get an award? Uh, this is the reason why we're selling. It. <laughs> Absolutely. So we have a bid of a hundred pounds. Can anybody be, believe we go above a hundred pounds? Going once, going twice. Hundred and five. Hundred and five pounds. Hundred and five pounds. So do we have? Do we, uh, Neil, what was that? So Neil, did you put your hand up there, Neil? So, do we have 110 anybody? 110 anybody? 110, come on Pierre, it's another tenner. I'll, I'll buy you a gin. I'll buy you a gin, come on Pierre. I'll buy her a gin as well. Why, who, 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 no. Uh, uh, I know how much gin is. Um, yeah, yeah. 110? Yeah. 110, we have 110 in the room. Anybody else? Any further advance? 111. <laughs> We're not going to accept 111 pounds. Round up. Okay, do we have any advance on 110? 115. 115, 115 in the room, do we get any more than 115? Going once, go twice. 250. Whoa! Oh, I can throw my voice, but it ain't like Who was 250? Yeah, What's he been drinking? <laughs> okay, so ladies and gentlemen, do we have any advance on £250? I really hope not because we need to keep some time going now. Uh, do we have any advance on £250? Going once, going twice. Oh, hang on a second, connection's unstable, this could be really bad news. Uh, sold! Yeah. <laughs> That's fair enough, that's fair enough. No, we don't. No, Paul, not bad. Paul, oh, sorry, um, what's your name? Lee, would you like to come and collect your award? <laughs> Congratulations. Yay. Yay. Okay. You need to look at the camera that way. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Fantastic, ladies and gentlemen. We'll move very, very swiftly on. Uh, right, just before you go back, are we supposed to be able to see the people in the room? Um, no, because I can't actually do it, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm also able to move your mic any closer to you. Like, stand closer to us. Is that any better now? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I can just show you. Don't mind seeing it. Put the mic in front of your face. Just the both worlds. This is kind of what I'm expecting. Right, okay, ladies and gents, we do need to move on. Um, can we have a representative from Unico 3, please? That's Rebecca. Rebecca. Oh, okay. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen. Okay, quiet there, please. Uh, okay, so we're now going into the, this serious part of the evening now. These are some serious awards. Uh, and this is for BSO New Member of the Year. This is a brand new category. Um, Adam, would you like to introduce? I 
Well, so for BSO new member of the year, we have the nominees of Claire Marie Kelly from Delightful Balloons. We have Joe Hilmer from Wood and the Trees Coaching. Jim Fletcher, JSS SEO Services. Jason Tidal from HippoServe. John Paget from John Paget Vocals. Moxie Child from Moxygen and Sophie Cameron from One to One Houses. Fantastic. Thank you. No problem. And ladies and gents, the winner is. It is Claire Marie Kelly. Congratulations. Uh, Claire Marie, do you have a speech prepared? Um, no, but I'm really shocked to put really grateful. Thanks so much, guys. Fantastic. Well, well done. Well done. We'll, we'll keep this here for you. We'll keep it here. There's something else in there. I'll, I'll get it posted to you. It's not a problem at all. Okay, ladies and gents. So we're now going to move on to blog post of the year. This has been sponsored by Adapt Business Solutions. Darren couldn't be here tonight, uh, so I will actually read this out. So, um, there are, how many nominees that? That's um, six nominees. Um, you, can, you can read the nominees. Anyway, you've got Andrew Hope, Jim Fletcher, Unico3, Andrew Warnikin, uh, Coin and Drink, and Dean Paltriman. So the question is, who is the winner? And the winner is, a draw. <laughs> Quieting down, please. Um, this did actually come as a bit of a shock to me too. Um, to be honest, we have actually consulted the BSO uh, rulebook. Uh, the rules are that uh, Article 37C Appendix D clearly states that the event of a tie for any award, the winner is decided by a fight to the death. <laughs> Using nothing more than a Hang on, hang on, hang on. Using nothing more than a vegetable of their choosing. The vegetable must be competition standard and grown in the United Kingdom. <laughs> Alternatively, um, use of the vote of the highest ranking BSO employee present Emma. is allowed. Yes, <laughs> Employee. So, ladies and gents, come over a, a bit of a drum roll, because this, I mean, this, this is serious. Hello, hello. Dean's actually looking really nervous. <laughs> okay, so can we have the drum roll again, please? The winner is Dean Bullferman. You, you can make these photos thin, yeah? Okay, brilliant. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, fantastic. We can't see the rest of it, so we're not going to have the fight to the death off screen. <laughs> no, we're, we're, yeah, never mind. Um, ladies and gents, the people at home will be, this is all being recorded. We will be actually sharing it online so you can actually see what's happening. Uh, so, can we invite, um, well, actually, the newly crowned winner of the, uh, the award that can only be award, so the award that can only be bought award. Lee Baker, would you like to present your award, please? So, once again, a new award for this year. Um, the business has shown the most progress. I think we can all agree that 2021 has been a, a, a tough year for many people. It's been a time that none of us can actually really, well, would have planned for. So, there are lots of very good news stories out there. There are great news stories, and this is a celebration of that. So, uh, Lee, would you like to read out your nominees, please? I can't see. In that case, if you look at that there, that'd be great. We have Vicky Harrison Edwards for Comedian Acupuncture, Jay Barker, Union Goes Through, John Koss, JC Cyber Security, Andrew, Andrew Hewood, Hewood Solutions. Mohamed Kassaji for MK Career Solutions, Jim Fletcher for JSF SEO Services, and Paul Spicer for LNP Sound. Fantastic, excellent. So the winner is. 
It's all nervous, isn't it? It was close. It is. Unico 3 by two votes. That's it. So, ladies and, gen ladies and gents at home, so to do reading out, um, Rebecca decided that Adam had to come and do that. However, collecting award, Rebecca decides she's going to make an effort for this. Here we go. All right, fantastic. Excellent stuff. I should would like to. Uh, go on, Lee. Just get. Come on, come on, Lee. <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> it sounds silly. Yep. <laughs> I, I've had practice now, ladies and gents. Okay, so. <laughs> so, okay, ladies and gents, we have a couple of awards to go through. Um, we're now moving on to the Unsung Hero Award. Uh, Mr. Tristan, if you can actually come to the stage to announce your nominees, please. If you'd like to read out your nominees. Okay, so uh, the nominees for the Unsung Hero Award are Tom Williams. James Five, Helen James Mystic, Brett Sheldon, the BSO. Come on, come on. <laughs> Paul Banda. Um, then we have um, Michelle Coombs and Jim Fletcher. Fantastic, excellent. And ladies and gents, the winner is. It is. Michelle Coon. Michelle Coon. <laughs> Michelle. Fantastic. Here you go, Michelle. Thank you very much. Those in the middle. Come on, Jack, get the bloody photos done. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, Michelle. So, seeing as Michelle is now walking that way, we have an award that hasn't actually been, that hasn't actually been mentioned on here, but Michelle's surely going to actually possibly look at that award at some point. Um, but there is also the award for Cock Up of the Year. Oh, no, um, this actually goes to, in theory, goes to Brett Sheldon. But can we also present this one to Michelle? Because the other one hasn't got her name spelled correctly. <laughs> it's Michelle. It's Michelle. So we have a Michelle Coombs has actually won. Oh. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Michelle, you can, have, you can have two awards, you know, double award winner. Multi-award multi multi winner. <laughs> Ladies and gents, it was actually worth spending the money just to make sure that Michelle is a multi-award winner and Paul isn't. So, <laughs> so okie dokie. So, we need to move very, very swiftly on, ladies and gents. Um, this is something now, okay, quiet down, please. This is a serious award that, that somebody in the room today is desperate to win. Absolutely desperate to win. She really is. <laughs> so, can we invite uh, John Cost, please, to, to basically present his award? So, Mr. Cost, if you'd like to read out your nominees, please. I will indeed. So, for the nominees for BSO Presenter of the Year 2021, we have Richard Fallon and Michael Smith. We're not getting a... Now we have Nigel Smith. We have Vicky Lovegrove. Lisa Billingham. Yannick Rock. And Adam Jones. So ladies and gents, the winner is... 
Now, personally, I like to keep the suspense going a little bit. Uh, at home, can you, can, you, can you feel the suspense at home? Adam is desperate to win this. So, what was that, Mark? Drum roll. Drum roll, ladies and gents. Drum roll for me. It is Adam Jones. Can I stand in a box? <laughs> okay, brilliant, fantastic. So, final two awards, ladies and gents. Keep an eye on the time. We haven't clawed any back at all. Um, and also, the presentation has now decided to... Oh, there is a question. Oh. So, as people may or may not know, Adam and Yannicka are due to get married. If, well, next year. It depends on the next slide. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, let's go to some of the people at home. Um, Lisa, who do you think Adam voted for? I'm not taking my life in my hands. Move on. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, Jim, you, you, you're not one to sit on the fence. Who do you think Adam voted for? Secretly for Paul, I think. Secretly for Paul. Shall we yeah. find out, ladies and gents? Actually, just for the purpose of people who are at your home, Adam and Yannicka are not looking at each other, they're both <laughs> looking at the screen. <laughs> they they to themselves, go on. <laughs> <laughs> they genuinely voted for each other. <laughs> okay then, ladies and gents, so oh, we move to the final two awards. Well, okay, so we have the tech leader of the academy. Michelle, would you like to present your award, please? Yes, I will. So we have. Okay, so. So, ladies and gents, so the real Bart Sheldon, for those who don't know what's actually happened on this one, uh, Bart Sheldon was born just after the BSO barbecue. To date, nobody actually... <laughs> yes. And ladies and gents, I also have a t-shirt, I believe in the same size too, but it is a bit more stretchy on me. So, uh, Bart Sheldon did get born, but nobody knows who Bart Sheldon is. So we had a vote. Would you like to... Yeah. So we have Lee Baker. Paul Lander, Neil Bowler, Ooh. Adam Jones, Ooh. Brett Sheldon, oh. Victoria or Henry Sheldon, Vicky Harrison Edwards, and John Coss. Okay, so can we actually have those who have been nominated on stage, please? No. <laughs> We would like all those who have been nominated on stage. All right, Neil, you better pipe off now, then. <laughs> okay. So, ladies and gents, if you can move you out know, this way a little bit, please, because we are. So, Michelle, I'm going to have to move you out of the way a little bit. It's okay, Paul. If you can squeeze it, can people squeeze in a bit more. I'm going to stand behind you. Okay. Okay. If you stand behind, if you stand behind the short ones. That's it. Okay, so ladies and gents, the question is, actually they can see this, so the question is, who is the real Bart Sheldon? So the question is, who have people voted for? Oh yeah, sorry. So the winner is, this is the vote by the people, this is the people think that, the people are so nervous. They have voted for... No! Yes! Mr. Lander, Mr. Lander, Jack, can we have a photo, please? I However, do not accept this award. Okay. Someone is getting stuck. 
Oh, hang on, hang on. <laughs> okay. Mr. Lander, here's your award. Look, you know what a PSO award winner. Everyone, 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 Bart Sheldon. No. No. I am not. He is a one way. <laughs> now, ladies and gents, the real Bart Sheldon has actually offered to oust themselves today. Would the real Bart Sheldon Please reveal themselves? Michelle. It's the real Bart Sheldon. I'd like to award Neil Bowler. <laughs> So it's so it's not very secret then, is it no, then? No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Come back in. Ladies and gents, if you like to see them. This is Neil's uh, <laughs> secret. Oh, Your award, your award. <laughs> I've got to say, and that's how he claims the award winner. Absolutely, absolutely. So, ladies and gents, we are going to move to the final serious award, the BSO Member of the Year. This has been voted for. Sorry, this has been sponsored by the Debt Recovery Bureau. Unfortunately, Neil doesn't get to announce any nominees. Uh, however, as the headline sponsor, he is actually sponsoring the. BSO Secret Activity, which will be coming shortly. And don't worry, it's it won't include any nudity. Oh. Maybe a little bit. Okay. Um, so, the BSO Member of the Year. This is the only award that has been chosen by the BSO Committee. The BSO Committee is basically picked up entirely me. <laughs> and it's awarded to somebody who has actually done an awful lot to actually help the BSO uh, and the family itself. The, the, the individual concern has certainly helped an awful lot of members. I know from personal experience, they've spoke to people all around the country, given lots and lots of support, lots and lots of advice. Uh, they support an awful lot of the events as well. Um, can I say that this person as well is also overly competitive? Um, that if I actually want to have any kind of referral base, let's put a competition on it, and basically the person will actually show up regardless and, and do extreme well. So this actually, like I say, it does come from me. Um, it is paid for by Neil. Um, but in terms of that, can we have BSO Member of the Year, or BSO of the Year, is Mr. Lander. Last year, the, the, the BSO of the year had a bigger award. Uh, this year, because the budgetary constraints have had the same shit as the rest of you. Um, <laughs> Mr. Lander, well done, mate. There's you go. He's running the film. You, you forgot multi award winning. You're now a multi award winning. Multi, multi. I'd like to thank Neil for, for making me win. The Bart Sheldon Award, so... Oh, nice sticker! Nice sticker, Do you like that? Yeah. Have you only just noticed that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah! Everyone's wearing stickers. Oh, great. Thank you very much indeed. Brilliant. Ladies and gents.
So, okay, ladies and gents, very, very quickly, that is the end of the award ceremony. I need to shut that bit down. Um, Right, so this year there may be a few people who haven't necessarily received their Secret Santa on time. Um, because of the change in COVID regulations, we've had a few people have to move around. There are things like hospital appointments which have come into place. Uh, there are a number of gifts that have been posted to me that either have been, a re either have been received or haven't. Lee, I know that yours is currently in the post. <coughs> Sorry, um, uh, Charlotte, I know that yours is currently in the post as well. Um, Neil, Brett's going to get yours to Neil, your, yours has been opened on your behalf. Uh, Jane, I've left a message with, the, with your Santa to find out what's actually happened to you, unless it actually has arrived today. Jane, has, it, has yours arrived today? No, Jane. Right, okay, so there is messages left out there, but the person should be actually online. Uh, all other presents have been distributed. So, ladies and gents, if you'd like to open your presents, please. Oh, sorry, hang on. Sorry. They're going to. Ha oh, they're coming. No, well, John's coming. They're going to have to open their presents shortly. So, ladies and gents. Thank you. <laughs> okay, ladies and gents, stop. Sorry, okay, don't worry. Ladies and gents, quiet down, please. Just, just. Okay, sorry. Uh, ladies and gents, don't worry. For, for those at home, we will get people to to explain what they've actually been given as gifts. Um, I'm conscious that this may or may not work very, very well, but by the looks of things, things may not be going quite so well. Okay, right. Okay, ladies and gents, quiet down, please. Quiet down, please. <laughs> Okie dokie, right, so let's pick some people at random uh, of what people have picked. It looks like Adam's may be fun. So ladies and gents, Adam is, uh, can, uh, is it, where's Adam? Okay, Adam, uh, would you like to explain what you've got? No. <laughs> Not loud over there. Adam, uh, what, what have you had? I've had Making marriage work for dummies. So, and a condom. Fantastic. Uh, Claire Marie Kelly, what have you had? Say what it is, please. Sorry. Oh, sorry, um, Lisa. Uh, sorry, Lisa. Um, Adam's had a getting married. Was it making marriage? Making marriage work for dummies and a condom. <laughs> uh, Claire Marie Kelly. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, okay, so we'll go to somebody else's home. Um, so, Lisa, have you had a present? I, I have to say thank you to whoever got this for me. It's organic maple syrup. Fantastic. Okay, brilliant. Um, okay, so who else has had some fun presents yeah. in the room? Yeah. Okay, so. <laughs> By the way, uh, ladies and gents, uh, there was a lot of laughs coming out from this side, so... So he's got colouring pens? Yeah, I got... 
Okay, um, so uh, uh, hang on, hang on, Paul. I don't know, hang on, let's see if we can actually get this right. Hang on, hang on, here we go, here we go. So we have a humping animal's coloring book. Fantastic. Uh, oh, does it stop there? Quality, okay. <laughs> okay, so, um, okay, so what else has people had in the room? So, anyway, anything else interesting? No, everybody else's presence is shit. Okay, so mine. <laughs> okay, so from my perspective, I've had a a putting machine, and I've also got a a sweatshirt which is about seven sizes too big. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. I think it's lovely. I think that's absolutely lovely. Oh, sorry. It says I now have a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. Fantastic. Uh, anything else interesting in the room? Yes, no? Uh, oh. Oh. Never mind. No. <laughs> Vicky, what did you have? I had a little figure on the A little tiny figure? Yeah, Hang on. Ooh. Hang on, let's see if we can get the... So where's your little figure? Oh, isn't that nice? Oh, that's fantastic, that's lovely. Brilliant. So, Secret Santa. Does anybody else have anything they want to admit to? No? Oh, hang on, Michelle's still going to open her present. Yes. So, okay, so can everybody just watch Michelle? If everybody can watch Michelle open her present. Is it fragile? Not anymore. <laughs> what is it? Sumo squats. Sumo squats. Fantastic. Excellent. Okay, and the ladies and gents. Ooh. Okay, ladies and gents. So, um, hopefully, well, you know something, I think that section of the, um, the Christmas party worked really badly for the hybrid version um, it, it's it's all it's all Santa's it's all it's all Boris's fault things let's be honest uh, quite everybody so um, that bit didn't quite work Merry Christmas everybody for those who have actually had it you wouldn't believe the hassle that we've um, we've actually had all the way through it and uh, just need to very very quickly just just So we're going to move on to the secret activity. Okay, let's just move a bit of quiet, please. Uh, now, I'm not entirely in control of the secret activity. But we have the notes here. <laughs> okay. Okay, quiet down, please, quiet down. Okay, so we have the notes. Um, John, just out of curiosity, what is the next slide? I can't remember. No, don't go to the next slide yet, John. Um, but I'm going to need some volunteers for this. Um, everybody who voted. What was that? Oh, shit. <laughs> so, okay, so for people who was in the BSO, or rather voted. Oops. Voted in the BSO um, awards you all signed the disclaimer. The final question was, are you prepared to take part in the secret act, or rather, prepared to have fun? No. There were eight questions that said yes, one that said no, and I'm proud to say that everybody in the room today answered yes. 
So, I'm going to need a couple of volunteers. And I think it's only fair we should take these volunteers from award winners past and present. So, first of all, can we have uh, Michelle as a volunteer, please? Oops. Hang on, Michelle, if you'd like to come to the stage, please. Um, can we also have uh, Lee Baker to the stage, please? Can we also have Paul Lander? Uh, hang on. We need, sorry, um, Mr. Tristam, you're a very responsible fellow. Can you keep hold of that for a second, please? Okay, you may have to adjust that very slightly, so if you can make sure... Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you can step in a little bit, please. No, no, you're all right. No, no, no. Come in a second, please. Okay. I'll go this side. Okay, can we also have... Um, Dean, pull for a minute, please. Oh. And can we also have... Adam Jones? No. Adam Jones. No. Adam, you have to. Adam, you sing me. I withdrew my consent to this. Okay, so um, before you open anything, Michelle, that's for you. Lee, that is for you. Can we open it? Not yet. Paul, that's for you. Dean, that's for you. And Adam, that's for you. You've got the good bit. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, sorry, um, volunteers, if you. Volunteers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Adam, if you'd like to come in, um, if you'd like to open your envelopes, please. Okay, um, John, would you like to move to the next slide, please? Ladies and gents, we are having the very first ever BSO pantomime. <laughs> Um, we have a number of characters picked. Um, you are going to have to bear with me for a couple of minutes just while I set up the, the actors. Um, please bear in mind, anybody at home, if there are children present, please put them to bed quickly. Okay? Uh, ladies and gents, uh, by the way, uh, please do not show your other cast members your script. That's really important. It won't work in any other way. Don't worry, ladies and gents at home, you will be involved, as will everybody in this room. Okay? Oh, no, so, we won't. What was that, sorry? Oh, no, we won't. <laughs> oh, yes, you will. <laughs> right, okie dokie. So, we need to put that there. If you can zoom that out as much as you can. Are we zoomed out? Okay, so, ladies and gents, if you can give me two minutes, I need to set everybody up, and then we'll, we'll get this started. Gents, you won't need your jackets. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Right, okay, so this will be interactive with everybody at home, in the room. Um, we're going to give the best go we possibly can. Um, genuinely, nobody out there has any idea this is going to be happening until I gave them their scripts. Okay, so um, Mr. Paget, are we, yes. are we ready at your end? I think so. Fantastic. In that case, then, I'm going to disappear off stage. Mr. Paget, would you like to start proceedings? Certainly. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, last time you met Cinderella, all was going swimmingly. The glass slipper had fit, they had a grand ball, and the wedding went very well indeed. I have heard that Prince, the Prince and Cinderella may have been hearing the pitter-patter of tiny feet, and I'm so happy for them. Buttons, well, he got over the fact that Cinderella dumped him for someone with money. He got married again this year. And he left the shady lot he was working for and started up a business for himself. Couldn't tell you what he does, though. It's far too complicated for me. The stepsisters, you'd never guess. They've become a huge hit. Massive celebrities now. Heard they might be appearing on Love Island. 
you know that fans, but shh, that's not common knowledge. So, don't get telling anyone. The others, no idea what's happened to them. Hello, boys and girls! Hello! Oh my god, it's been ages since I've seen all of you. How long has it been? Well, I don't know. <laughs> Um, well, I know it was certainly before COVID happening. Uh, how long was it? Actually, it was before Cinderella's ball. So you probably haven't heard things then. Um, things didn't ha end happily for the prince and Cinderella after all. No, what a scandal. I heard it was the prince. He had a foot fetish, don't you know? It was the talk of the town. What, did that, what that man did with the moccasin? You don't want to know. <laughs> Makes your skin crawl. They're divorced now. Supposed to be doing all right for themselves, what I hear. Speak of the devil. Look who's here. <coughs> Hello, what a fancy seeing you here around these parts. You're looking good since the last soy. Business must be going well. Thank you, Cinderella. N uh, not looking too shabby yourself. Not a very Cinderella -y, uh, outfit, though. I know. The person who organised this pantomime mine was a little tight, I think. Bastard! <laughs> Anyway. It doesn't matter though, I'm off to a party. Hey, I've heard you've gone into business for yourself, is that right? I have, I'm loving it. What are you doing then? Well, I've found my true calling. I've become a call girl. A call girl? Oh, you are so good at that. Thanks. I've been practicing most of my life. I can now do more than one at a time, don't you know? Really? <laughs> sure, it's easier than you think when you know how. You deal with all sorts. Some right weirdos though, but the key to it is making sure that my customers are satisfied. Where'd you do that then? Work from home, you know. Ha <laughs> Have you done it lying down? I know you like it that way. Of course, lying down, standing up, even bent over. I've done it all over the house. The bedroom, the kitchen, the dining room table. You can make phone calls anywhere these days. I've done marketing calls, sales calls, customer care calls. You know, Cinders, I think the boys and girls are thinking about something else then. <laughs> Dirty <laughs> bastards. Actually, Gutties, you can probably help me. I could do with finding a few more customers. Can you help? Sure, give me a call next week. I'll help. But I've also heard there's a networking event going on tonight. You'll meet business owners there. It'll be good for oh you to go. Oh my god. That's great. I'll see you there. Got a flight, I'll be late. But did you hear about my sh what? Stepsisters? <laughs> no. Oh my god, such a scandal. Watch out, they're coming this way. I'll see you later. Bye! Oh my god. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you could mess things up so much. We were made. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we were royalty. I said I'm sorry. <laughs> well, we had everything. The money, the cars, the houses, the laws. Oh. It's all gone. Just because you seduced an innocent man. How the hell can it go so wrong? You know, he's never been the same again. Oh, was that man's name? Philip Schofield. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, stepsisters. What brings you round these parts? No choice, it's in the script. <laughs> anyway, what is I've heard about a scandal? I'm not going into this, but it's all her pocket. I said I'm sorry. Buttons, we're glad we've seen you. The word on the street says you're a man who can help business owners. Is that right? It is. That's not all, though, so. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Well, 
due to circumstances beyond our control, we decided to start our own business. We put our heads together and we decided to start businesses in areas that we totally found us in. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. What businesses are you starting? <laughs> Would help. Uh, she's becoming a singing instructor. Oh, Don't you know? She's <laughs> taught the very best they know. Really? Sure. Elton John, George Michael, Boy George, and even Freddie Mercury. Taught them everything you know. Wow, that's impressive. I got something more impressive than that. <laughs> like what? It's scary. Well, you know the Titanic song? Yeah. That wasn't Celine Dion. It was me. Oh, I do all her oh, vocals. Well, blow me down with a feather. Are you really that good? No. Darling, <laughs> I'm the best that's ever been. I can teach anyone. No. Go on, no. show him, Leona. Really not. Get buttons to pick one of the boys or girls to teach them no. song. No. You're on. Buttons, pick one of the girls, oh. or the boys or girls, <laughs> and I'll teach them to sing. Right here, right now. Ooh. Who shall I pick? I was going to, hang on, I was going to say, um, I, I, yeah, <laughs> that's what the script us is, Joe Plummer's not here, but never mind. But anyway, how about Joe Plummer? Uh, no, she seems far tonight. What about Jane Barker? She yeah, might. stuff, she's got my parents to do. <laughs> I know the very person. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> You're right. From what I heard, he auditioned for Britain's Got Talent. <laughs> got, got, got around a couple of rounds too. He'll be perfect. Come on, John Koss. You thought you was getting away with this. <laughs> Ladies and gents, can we welcome John Koss to stage? Um, Paulina, if you could like to give a little bit of room. That's fantastic. Okay, sorry, over to you, Lee. Uh, don't worry, John. We're going to do this together. And I've picked my favourite song. Wouldn't you mind helping me out with you? Not at all, love to. What song are we singing anyway? I don't know. What? Don't you know your favourite song? I thought you said you were good. It's missing in the script. Oh. Oh shit. Do you have a look what song it is, by the way, gents? <laughs> um, okay, right. Um, just out of curiosity, uh, John, do you have any, any music just to be on the safe side? Just to be careful. I didn't. No? Okay, so in that case, we're going to have to do it together. So, okay, so Lee, over to you. Have you ever seen the part of the script? Here we go then. We're going to musical theatre and a legend from Leonard Bernstein and Stephen Sondheim and the West Side Story. Now, John, we're going to see them together and Buttons is going to help us. Okay? Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, ladies and gents. Prump, pump, pump. Prump, pump. Okay. Oh, so pretty. I'm still pretty and witty and fit. Okay. Do you not know it? No. Okay, this will be interesting. Okay. Follow me. Okay. <laughs> I feel pretty. Oh, so pretty. I feel pretty and witty and gay. And I pity any girl who isn't me today. La 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 I feel charming, oh so charming, it's alarming how charming I feel, and so pretty. You're close. I hardly can believe I'm real. La 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 Okay, I'll tell you what, then, like, um, boys and girls, can we have a round of applause? Don't worry. Okay, so they, they want to finish it off. Unfortunately, they, they are going to prolong the agony for you. Um, carry on. See the pretty girl in that mirror there. What mirror? <laughs> what mirror where? Rub it up, rub it up, rub it up. Who can that attractive girl be? Which one where? Mm. Such a pretty face. Mm. Such a pretty dress. <laughs> Such a pretty smile. Mm. Such a pretty me. me. <laughs> if you lot should actually know how this should be going. <laughs> it's <laughs> nothing <laughs> like this. We uh, Emma, can you find? Because I feel pretty. Are you like your phone? If someone can actually find, I feel pretty, to let them know what it's supposed to be. That's it. Anyway, I tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to finish there. Oh, no. Come on, then, carry on. We've got to wait for the applause. Oh. oh the applause. Right. Hey! 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 Feel like running and dancing for joy, for I'm loved by a pretty wonderful boy. That's it, right? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the round of applause, please, for John and Leona. Um, later on, um, Jack, if you can like cut some stuff into that about how the sun should be, oh yeah, yeah that'd be great. Oh, actually, here we go. Yeah. Oh. Press play. Oh, oh, no. So for those who don't, it's not quite going very, very well here. Oars, pulls, phonies. Don't worry, okay, don't worry. So, um, so we know what Leona's business is. What are you up to, Paulina? Quick, get back in, get back in. Where are we? Towards the bottom of the page. So we know what Leona's business is. What are you up to, Paulina? Uh, next page. Yes, please. Uh, oh, okay. lost. There we go. Oh, um, she's becoming a dance instructor. She's taught the very best everything they know. Really? Sure. Ginger Rogers, Fred Astaire, Len Goodman. She's done all of them. Taught them everything they should know. Wow, that's impressive. Something more impressive than that, baby. Like what? Uh, I don't know. Why? Because that part is missing from my script. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, ladies and gents, please, keep, please bear with us. It will be worth it. Trust me.
Uh, don't worry, Paul. Yours is only one page. Oh, payback. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, do you want me to carry on? Yeah, please. Uh, I've invented twerking. Never! <laughs> I did! You know that music video, you know? Yeah. It wasn't perfect. It was me. I can teach anyone. Lee. <laughs> Thanks, but as a matter of fact... No. No? no? Where are we? <laughs> Show him, Paulina. Why don't you get pick one of the boys or girls from the audience and show them how to twerk? Leona, you're on! <coughs> Buttons, pick one of the boys or girls and I'll teach them how to twerk right here, right now. Oh! <laughs> Who shall I pick? <laughs> Hang on! We can't pick somebody from the audience. Our insurance doesn't cover for, for us for that. Our, own, our insurance only covers us for people who own a web company Yay! that starts with the letter Z to twerk on stage. Well, you're being luck as it happens. Go on then, Paulina, show us your stuff. Come on then, boys and girls, let's give us some encouragement. John, do you have some music? Hang on, come on, hang on. John? Can't hear music, John. <laughs> ladies and gents, <laughs> let's give it. Let's give a round of applause, ladies and gents. <laughs> ladies, you. <laughs> come back on, come back on. It's inevitable. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. It's not happening. Don't worry, leave it there. Right, okay, ladies, you're amazing. You must be fully booked for ages. Thanks, but as a matter of fact, we aren't yet. And that's why we need your help. Give me a call next week. I'll help you out. But in the meantime, I've heard of a networking event going on tonight. Uh, you'll be able to speak to people there. I'll send you the details. Thanks, Buttons. We'll, we'll see, see you there. You there. <laughs> <laughs> Mazda, stand here. Stand here. So, things were quite what we expected. John? 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 Have you got some kind of... Um, You've you, you, you turned into a Dalek, John. <laughs> That's not part of the script, by the way. Look. Try again, John. I feel pretty if you want to hear it. Now, John? How about now? Yeah, that's better. Okay. okay. All right. So, things aren't quite what we expected then. I've turned into a Dalek. Cinderella and Prince Charming have divorced, and the stepsisters have been involved in a sex scandal. Who'd have guessed? Good to see Buttons is doing well, though. Keeping doing what he's doing, and he'll be able to afford a jacket that fits soon. Cheeky bastard! I wonder what happened to the others, the prince and the Cinderella's father. Actually, whatever happened to the fairy godmother? Oh, shit. We haven't seen her around these parts, either. It just hasn't been the same without her. Claire Marie, have you seen her in Yorkshire? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> not in Yorkshire. <laughs> no, not in Yorkshire. How about you, Lisa? Have you seen her in London? <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> That's some blasting. James Bythe, what about you? <laughs> No, you no. have, you have, you have. No. You have. Watch out behind you! <laughs> <laughs> Go on, <laughs> I forgot to tell Jane. Apparently the script's seen her, she's over there. Fairy Godmother, wait up! Where have you been? Oh. I've been away. On a long holiday? I've 
just been away. I don't want to talk about it. It's embarrassing. Oh, come on. You can tell us. You're around friends here, isn't she, boys and girls? Yes! No, really, I can't tell you. Why not? Because there's a gap in my script. <laughs> <laughs> You might need that in a second. <laughs> oh, is that me now? <laughs> Can you tell us now? It's really embarrassing. I've been in prison. In prison? For what? Animal cruelty. Mm -hmm. Apparently, before, before you turn mice into horses, you have to ask their permission. Otherwise, it's a crime. But mice? Mice wouldn't know that. Who told them? Vegans! <laughs> How come vegans are upset with you? You're the fairy godmother. Everyone loves you. Apparently not. They called me an abomination to fairy kind. That I didn't deserve these wings and that I should be stripped of my membership from the Guild of Magical Characters. What? I know. My... Uniform? Union. Union. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying unicorn. Sorry. Uh, my union fought them. But I'll tell you something. They fight dirty. Told the mice that I committed a crime they did, all because I turned a pumpkin into a carriage five years it cost me. Fucking vegans. <laughs> Hang on. We'd rather not! <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe it. So what are you gonna do now? <clears throat> I thought I'd go back to doing wishes. People seem to like me there. With better wishes than I used to do. I thought I'd try the corporate market. I fed up with dealing with people wanting to be thin. I'm good, but not a miracle worker, you know. Hey, Buttons, you can help me out. Where would you suggest I could find some business? Well, there's a networking event going on tonight. You'll be able to speak to people there. I'll send you details if you like. Thanks, Buttons. Well, I'm not going to guess who it is. It's only Cinderella's father. I granted him a wish, you know. Wanted to be a big name in Hollywood. And you know me, his wish was granted. What's he doing back around here? Adam. Adam. Tonight, come along with me. You might be able to find some new customers. I know there's a song about a man in your predicament. Hang on, John. We'll take his top off. <laughs> oh, <laughs> come on. No, it's fine. I'm good. You, well, you might do. Okay. Oh. Okay, go on then. Sorry, John. I can't play it. There's a puddle. Think I'm losing weight. I should have known how messy this could go with the wish team so Now I have been told I'll get moving when it's not so cold. So when I'm lying in my bed, not standing by a shed, with a carrot in my hand, I think I'll network instead in Oh, 
try and be. I'll trust Brett Sheldon instead. I know a song about a duck. What's a duck got to do with Cinderella? Nothing. But I wrote the script. If John can sing his song, then I want to sing my song about a duck. <laughs> I like ducks. Oh, if this works in memory. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Okay then, John. When are you ready? Not really. <laughs> okay, here we go. First duck for the duck, for the first eight duck, duck first, duck first with the duck, first with the first duck, first duck, for the first duck. Oh, John, John, let's start again, let's start again. Okay, hang on, come back, come back, come back. Right, okay, we'll try it again. So far in rehearsals, I've managed to get this right only 30% of the time. Okay, so John, are we ready? Here we go. Okay. First duck for the duck, with the first duck, duck first, duck first, with the duck first. First duck, first duck, with the first, first duck, duck first, with the duck first. Okay, John, I'll give you one more go. It is my fault. Right, okay, ladies and gents, come on, come on, give me a chance. There's a slow one too. If you want that one for starters. Okay, then go on, John. Go for the slow one. Fuzzy duck, fuzzy duck, what a fuzzy duck, ducky first, ducky first, with the ducky first. Fuzzy duck, fuzzy duck, what a ducky, fuzzy duck, ducky first, ducky first, ducky first. Yay! Okay, so we're gonna have a competition now. Oh. It is a pantomime after all. Oh, is it? It is. <laughs> okay, so boys and girls at home, it is your turn. Unmute yourselves, boys and girls at home. It is your turn. John, oh, can we no, give them... oh yes it is. Uh, John, can we give them the slow version please? Sure. Um, and and boys... Just in case people are wondering, it's twice through those lyrics. Is it? Yeah. Oh I never yeah. knew that bit. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, so um, boys and girls, make sure you do it and have a big cheer at the end from yourselves to make sure everybody at home knows that you're the best. Okay, ready, steady, off yeah. you go. Okay, the girls. <laughs> Thank God you're with us, John. Okay, the girls, it's your time now to show the boys that you're better at it on your own. Okie dokie, so are we ready then John? Yeah. Yep. Okay then John, just the girls. Away we go. Hey! <laughs> okay, ladies and gents, my this is going a little bit better, but boys, it is our turn now to show ourselves. That, oh, sorry, John, what's the word? Sorry? Yeah. Uh, okay, so, boys, just the boys in the room, please. Okay, when are you ready, John? Hey, wonderful boys and girls. Um, I hope you're all good at doing what you do because otherwise I'm going to lose a lot of sleep at night uh, worrying about you making a living as singers. But anyway, well done. Um, I think it's time for us to leave stage. Right. Right. Oh. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
There it is then, everyone. Anyone who's anyone will be at the networking event tonight. What an affair it's going to be. I'm so looking forward to it. After all, we all love a good networking event, don't we, boys and girls? Oh, oh no, we don't! Oh, oh, yes, we do. Oh, no, we don't. Oh, oh cut, that, cut that shit out. What's happened to the prince? Oi! Buttons! What? What? You've forgotten Prince Charming! What do you mean I've forgotten Prince Charming? Well, well you've had Cinderella, you've had the stepsisters, uh, you've had the fairy godmother, and you've had Cinderella's father. It was only a rumour. I didn't bring him, bring him to the party. <laughs> no, I, I mean, they've all had a part in the panto. You've forgotten the prince? Shit, you're right. I'll get it. Prince? Prince Charming? Where are you? Oh yeah. Where? Oh yeah. Where? It is behind you. <laughs> behind you. Where? It's behind you. Yeah. Where are you? It's behind, behind you. you. It's fucking hell. Right. <laughs> For fuck's sake, what are you, what are you, what the bloody are you doing there? He said bring crown. I couldn't have crown yet, you it looks. <laughs> I've been doing a crown. Oh shit, sorry. Sorry, yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah. So what, what are you doing now? Anyway, I've got Calvi. Really? No, it just says that in the script. Cheers. Oh, come on, I'll have to get in there somewhere. <laughs> Prince Charming, I'm really sorry to hear things didn't work out with Cinderella. Uh, but I've got to say, you're a disgusting beast. What you did to that moccasin, foot fetish or no foot fetish, that was gross. And now you've got children. What foot fetish and what children? We heard you had a foot fetish and the narrator told us he heard the pitter patter of tiny feet. Ah, did they now? I better put the story straight down now. There's now children, pitter patter of tiny feet, you refer to, with the seven dwarfs. Cinderella invited them to stay. Thought I was being nice since they were out of work with the restrictions and all. Then I came out one night, found them. It was an eight son. I could never drink a seven up again. My god, there was beards everywhere, scrappy beards absolutely everywhere. So I kicked the bread. I mean, they were even at it on the snooker table, and I was on that snooker table. Next thing I knew, there's this wild rumour about me and a foot fetish. Just because of that bloody glass slipper. So I was sold up. I've moved on. Now I'm happily living in Milton Keynes. The place has been used for a meeting space. Now, and here they're running a network event there tonight. All right, what do you do now? Nothing. Don't need to. Bought some shares in a little company called Zoom uh, a few years ago. I thought nothing going at all. Got more money than I can do uh, anything with. You're going to go to a networking event tonight. Enjoy yourself. Thanks, Prince Charming. So that's them all accounted for. Six going to the networking event tonight, so it should be a good one. Now, I've not been to one myself, but I've been told they're pretty good. And see, it's a great way to meet new people. But I, I have been told you've got to watch out for those multi-level marketers. I know that there are some brilliant ones out there, like Val, Sue, and Becky, but some... Oh, back on. You don't want to be called by them. Now then, boys and girls, if you see a multi-level marketing company, you will let our friends know, won't you? Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Right. I can see that the network event is just about starting. We better get over there. Right. Ready? Okay, the network is. We've arrived at the 60 second element of the meeting. Can you could tell us about your business? Paulina, would you like to start us off? Uh... <laughs> I want to start there, Paul. <laughs> sure, yeah. Oh, sorry, yeah, I haven't highlighted it, sorry. Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm waiting for that, be. No, no, no. That's, All right, okay. it's, it's, Hi, my name is Paulina. I'm the proud owner of Twerking Superstars International. If you want to shake your booty like you just don't care, I'm the lady for you. Trainer for the stars. It's, it's behind you! Yeah. 
Uh, train to the stars if you want to. <laughs> Sorry about that, Bobby. You'll have to pick up next time. Can we ask Sophie Cameron for her 60 seconds? Yeah. Come on, Sophie. You know you want to. <laughs> no, no, just hang up. You're okay. Just let her be fine. I told you, you might have a part in it. <laughs> You're lost. Your 60 seconds, please, Sophie. Yes. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the VSA Christmas Party. I am Sophie Cameron, and I am the director of One to One Houses. I've partnered with Agos Properties, and I am here to change the estate agency industry. Estate agency! Boring! Terribly sorry, Sophie. I know you're on a fabulous estate agency in Warsaw, but we must move on. Fairy Godmother, could you do your 60 seconds, please? Hello, my name is Fairy Godmother, supplier of premium wishes. Are you stuck in a corporate route with no enjoyment and a boss you hate? Then I am the woman for you. Mind you! It's behind it's you! you. My wishes are fast, It's okay. <laughs> That'll do. I'm terribly sorry, Fairy Godmother. You'll have to pick up next time. Who should we go to next? Oh, look, a present for me. Oh, but I will wrap it. You don't get this in Hollywood, do you? Let's be honest. <laughs> Am I actually supposed to eat this? Not really. Yes. Oh. Yeah. I'm asleep. Oh my god. <laughs> she meant to say strange and apple. Looks tasty. Oh, yeah. Strange and apple looks tasty. Tasted by a bottle of tea. Adam. Oh, hold on. Snow White? What's that doing here? Who delivered it? Hermes. That explains it. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's only one thing for it. She needs a kiss from Prince Charming. It can suck up. Been there, done that. Ain't going back. <laughs> what? What are we going to do now? I didn't know any princes. Prince. Princes. Uh, not some queens, but definitely not a prince. Me either. Looks like she's stopped. Fairy Godmother. You fancy giving her a crack? You want me to do what? It's <laughs> trade for it goes. No! Well, there can only be one hero who can save the day. Where is he? You know what? He's buggered off, isn't he? Uh, awesome like, because uh, somebody has bars to, <laughs> to kiss him. It looks like he's stopping there then, Michelle. Lander. Lander, get close enough to Bart. Can yeah. you give her a kiss? No! <laughs> and she oh, wakes And she wakes up. Now, not what anyone expected, but a happy ending to the story, just like any other pantomime with an unlikely hero, our very own Bart Sheldon. And did we learn anything today, boys and girls? No, no. Probably not. What was that? Brett Cartwright pantomimes. Possibly, we don't know, but we did learn something. What did we learn? Never forget, Brett has a really long memory, so think twice before taking the piss. To end proceedings, we had better hand back to Buttons to bring on the cast. Okay, ladies and gents, okay. Cast, if you'd like to stand one side, please. Uh, apologies, that went um, kind of how we thought it may possibly go. Um, but thank you very much for playing along. Um, I know, judging by some of the reaction of the room, that you now want to go to sleep, um, that you wish that the bar was open longer, uh, but ultimately, thank you very much for playing along. Uh, I had a lot of fun actually writing all this, but also, but judging by the reaction, you also had a lot of fun all the way through this. Um, which bit I don't know, but getting Adam in a snowman suit, I'm pretty sure that's pretty good. Oh, I don't know. I told you, everybody loves over that. So, um, the whole aim of this one was to prove a point that 
basically anything is actually possible. If you put your mind to it, you can accomplish anything. Not a panther, but you can accomplish anything. So what I want to do is to invite each cast member back on stage, just to say a big thank you. Can we have a round of applause as I call them out? Uh, in no particular order, can we have a Cinderella's father, Adam Jones? <laughs> As Leona, step sister number one, Lee Baker from IT Technophones. <laughs> you can keep the hair there if you want. Um, <laughs> Paulina, step, step sister number two, Paul Lander from Zephyr <laughs> Reptiles. And as the fairy godmother, Dean Paul from from Primal. <laughs> <laughs> Online we have Prince Charming, we have Jim. <laughs> and a Cinderella. Can we have the wonderful Michelle Coot? <laughs> and, and finally, a massive thank you to John Paget, uh, our narrator. <laughs> Who, if you want to blame anybody, I ran this script by him. I didn't read by Emma, uh, so he approved it. So if you didn't like it, it's his fault entirely. But let's be honest, what a song, ladies and gents. That was a fantastic song. Okay. And finally, for everybody at home and in the room, can you have a round of applause for yourselves? You want to you guys. So this video, at some point in the very near future, Jack,